five steps to structure your Facebook live content so that you can create more impact for your audience as well as your business. Hi, my name is Sagar. I help marketers to grow and monetize their skill using Facebook, specifically Facebook live and Facebook group. So let's get started. I have a five-step five framework to share with you so that you can structure your Facebook live content. The first step is creating a hook using compelling title, like how I created it. But similarly, you can create something to grab the attention from your ideal prospects. The first 10 seconds is important because that's how you will hook them to watch till the end. And it's, it's not just about you are creating a hook. The object of a creating hook is to share what's in it for them so that you can they will stay to land and watch your complete content. Some example, if I like to give you that is some framework, like three ways to solve this specific problem or three ways to achieve some goals or desires. Three steps. How to how to is a very powerful attention grabbing hook or five biggest mistakes. So these are the some things you can use to create a hook during your Facebook live. Now the second step, second step is like short and quick intro. Like I give short and quick intro. It can be you can mention that hey. If you never met before, you can share uh, your intro again. Every 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 live video you can introduce like this, and also you can start with like a help statement. I help this or avatar to achieve this goal. Also, you can uh, put your offer statement, whatever you do in your field. Also, you can simply measure, okay, I'm uh, this coach, I'm this expert, that's it. Mostly the designation part. So don't take much time. Uh, the third, encourage engagement. Like if you're watching live, please comment hashtag live. If you're watching replay, then comment hashtag replay. So also you can ask like, let me know where you are watching from. Also, what Facebook sees that whenever you ask and you are ask your audience to comment something, that increases the engagement of that particular video because Facebook sees that if there is engagement, let's promote this post to more and more people. Also, you can Take a name if you see that's okay. Somebody joined uh, live, joined you live. And you can also share that name, right? That is a good way to uh, build that rap with your audience. Now, when come to score content, whatever you promised in the first 10 second, 15 second, that is you are going to deliver over here. What is your core content? You may take five minutes, seven minutes, 10 minutes or 30 minutes, right? So based on that, your core content, you can explain that. Like step one, this, this is. Also, you can go sub step also. Step two, this. Step three, this. Core content. Once you complete your core content, what you can do is you can give call to actions. Like once they learn something from you, you can also move them up to the value ladder. Okay, so you can give away uh, some lead magnet like free guide, newsletter, or you can join a Facebook group. Like if you're watching or YouTube, you can find my Facebook group in the below. So like, I also do this. Like, also like, as I mentioned, like, okay, here is the link display on the screen. So if you are using tool called StreamYard, StreamYard has option to showcase whatever link, short link you would like to share with your audience. Okay. 
So that is something I would like to share with you today that how you can structure your Facebook live content so that uh, you can get more impact on your audience as well as your business. If you found valuable type valuable in the chat box and tell me when you are going to start your Facebook live if you have not started yet. And also please do subscribe to this channel if you find valuable content.